Merchandise Financial Planning, Chapter 1, Session 3, Planning Inventory with a Balance Set. Now that you have the sales plan worked out, the next step is to determine how much inventory is needed to meet the sales you projected. Here are some inventory metrics typically used in merchandise financial planning. Receipts. That's the inventory you need to buy and expect to receive. Other inventory adjustments that affect your inventory level can include shrink, return to vendor, inventory transfers, or inventory write-offs, also known as marked out of stock. A balance set is a mathematical way of calculating your inventory needs to support your sales plan across time. The purpose of the balance set is twofold. First, it tracks the ins and outs of your inventory. Second, it's tracked across time to determine your receipt or open to buy requirements. A balance set is created at month or some other time period measure. To create a balance set, start with the beginning of month or period inventory, BOP for short. You then add incoming inventory and reduce or subtract outgoing inventory, which results in the ending inventory for that period. From the inventory metrics we just talked about, incoming inventory you would add would be receipts. Reductions in inventory would be your sales, markdowns, both permanent and point of sale, shrink, and other inventory adjustments we just talked about. Your balance set will move over time, as your end of period inventory will become your beginning of period inventory for the next period. BOP inventory will always be EOP of your previous period, therefore the name balance set. Your balance set creates the movement over time as your end of period inventory for the current period becomes your beginning of the next period. This is your inventory flow as you move across time. As we can see in our example, our balance set is using months as our time period. Our starting period is February, where our BOP is $200. Our sales are deducted from the inventory, so we are subtracting out $75. We add $150 in receipts since it's a gain to your inventory. Subtracted $10 for shrink and $15 for markdowns. We close February at $250 end of period inventory. February end of period inventory becomes our beginning of period for March for the same $250. We subtract our sales of $80, add in the receipts of $50 and subtract shrink of $5. With no markdowns in March, we end the period at $215. This then becomes April's beginning of period and so on as we go through the months and the year noting the movement of the inventory over time.